So we'll put the kettle on and we'll sing a little song about a splendid spot of tea. Splendid! After many years of trying in vain to get a decent cup of tea in America, I remember the old saying, if you want a job done properly, do it yourself. So, with a few hundred dollars and the determination of a scouser, I did just that. I started Mrs. Angie McCartney's Teas, with a percentage of the proceeds going to the Linda McCartney Breast Cancer Centre in Liverpool. On any given day, half of all Americans enjoy a spot of tea. And according to our local tea authority, British import Angie McCartney, civility starts with a steaming pot and a warm welcome. Hello, come in, let's put the kettle on, have a cup of tea. It's synonymous with friendship and making people welcome in your home. The number one tea tip? To obtain tea hot, first warm your pot. It's very important to get hot water into the teapot first because it prepares the surface to absorb the qualities of the tea more quickly. And what is the proper time for afternoon tea? Four o'clock, sharp. There's a lot of uh, etiquette about tea. There's classes where people can go to study how to lay out a, a table. If you have a two-tier or a three-tier cake stand, what goes on the top and what goes on the bottom. And Oh, there's so much protocol about it, you just wouldn't believe. Hmm, McCartney. Any relation? Paul is my stepson, and of course, when he used to come home, the first thing was, come on, Anne, put the kettle on, let's have a pot of tea. Linda was a great tea drinker, too. We used to sit around the kitchen table at Rembrandt and make a pot of tea and put the world to rights, you know, like women do. And in putting it right, Mrs. Angie McCartney's Teas donates a portion of their proceeds to the Linda McCartney Breast Cancer Research Fund. In Playa del Rey, I'm Sharon Schoenberg. Splendid! Splendid!